hunter hunter's traps. I don't know. All right, no themes, no challenges. I'm gonna make my own. We'll see how it goes. So it'll be like three safety dummies at the back, a bunch of fishers, like six fishers, two per lane, two frosty towers, a couple of oil geysers. I think probably a pair of, uh, what you call them, mystic traps as well. And, uh, a three node or a two beam proton line. And it was pretty fun. I liked it a lot. Who needs a chess piece though? Who am I going to play as? I should probably play as Lava Mancer for a setup like this, honestly. So any of my Lava Mancers need chess? Yes. Two of them do. No, I've done that before. <laughs> and it went horrible. Like, I got wrecked. I had to go- I had to give up and use freaking. Whatever. Oh, oh, that sucks, dude. Uh, try rejoining. Alright, let's build what I know I'm gonna build. You. And you. you. I know exactly what I'm doing with these, so let me put these in. The rest is gonna be a little fiddly with positioning. Yeah, sounds like you are having a bit of a rough day with it. So this should also deal with the flyers. Hopefully. Maybe I'll spread them out enough so that if flyers do get past, or up here they won't attack the frosty towers. And they'll instead go to like the teleport dummies or something. I don't know how close they need to be to like get that aggro, so let's just do this. I'll even reposition these to see if I can guarantee that. Go. Some serenity auras, so let's do this. Teleport dummies at the top. For anything that gets past. Get Cobalt, which I am almost certain Cobalt is going to get past. If someone in the game could cleanse, that'd be great. You probably only need to start cleansing at wave 5. Maybe 4 to be safe. I don't know how this build's gonna go. I can't remember how it went last time. Alright. Waller, defense power. Fisher specific. I think my Fisher one's now more damage. So that's 22k. 21k. That's not much, but it's something. So we'll do front and back. Like that. Let's move that over a bit. Well, it'll get it'll get enemies there as well. That's fine. Uh, the front one... Uh, the front one... I don't know which one's going to be the wall and which one's going to be the fissure. I don't know which fissure is going to do more damage. Let's do this. Uh, to cleanse, green ghost comes out. Go down below. Turn all the torches green. And then you'll get a buff. You run through the enemy with that buff, and it'll cleanse them. Pretty straightforward. Match the colors game. You and you. This is why I need one more defense power, Lava Mancer. Alright, we want you. And you. There. Actually, 
I'm not sure. Maybe I should do left and right. Mm, I don't know. We'll do one for now. My fissures are kind of in the way for where I really want to put these uh, sand traps. But it should be fine. Cause it, maybe I'll move the Serenity Aura. Getting some ice cubes. I don't worry. This is going to be a bit of a slow build anyways. Let's get the protons. We're going to do something like this. I want to get them up there. So how far will these go? Here. Okay. So on the middle of the first two steps. Uh, no, but I have thought of that comment specifically when doing this kind of build. But it's a variant on it, I believe. So definitely Dav Dav influence. Definitely got that Davarino influence in it. I'm just going to have to replace you. Put the Serenity Aura back. Go. Let's get the Oil Geysers in. Get the initial slows. So they get slowed by the oil geyser, they proc the sand trap, and then the sand trap stuns them again. We're gonna have to hero DPS the bosses though. Um, if the ogres have tenacity, then they're gonna take like no damage from these setup because they just walk right through it all. If they don't though, they get down pretty low. Uh, that you can go up and then like they have one mil HP left or something low. But yeah, if they have tenacity, they're just gonna walk right through this shit. The setup does rely a bit on, um, well, quite a bit on the CC. So, like, that mid lane, the big mid lane, is actually going to be some trouble for a wave. Alright, Huntress, where you at? So, we'll stick those, like, right here, I think. Right in the middle of it all. In fact, maybe I'll even move them a little closer to the middle. So you can share a bit. Go. There and there seems fine. Then I'm gonna have a hundred. I'm gonna have quite a bit of DU left. We'll see. Alright, we got 140 DU left. Three lanes. That's 40 per, so I can put two more traps in. Hmm. Or I could put like one more Frosty Tower in. I could put another Oil Geyser, another Sand Trap, and an Oil Geyser, another Sand Trap, and a Trap. Let's just do this. Ideally what this is going to do is it's going to slow the enemies, slow again from the sand trap and then stun them on top of the uh, Hunter's Traps. Or they'll just get pounded by damage. With various chances to stun from the uh, Oil Geysers and the Proton as well. Go. All right, so I didn't need love answer chest. I do. Uh, Frosty towers are the only things that'll need to be replaced. So let's bring you into here. I'll bring out you.
Oh, I don't have, um, actually, I forgot, I forgot the dummy walls, didn't I? Um. Alright, let's rethink this then, because I want to do this properly. Huntress. Um. How do I want to do this then? I'm thinking another sand trap. If we don't have dummy walls though, like I, I don't feel confident in stopping those uh kobolds. There we go. I should have done this from the beginning. Hmm. I think I'll do maybe like a left right. No, I don't want to do one more node per. Two more nodes, maybe. So I think I'll do another, like, I'll do two sand traps and then two huntress traps. I think that adds up. So instead of this, we'll do left and right. We'll get a bit of a sand trap vortex going on. Yeah, this'll work. And then I mean I would have the DU I think for uh what you're talking about. But whatever. In fact I'd probably be able to do two more. No, I've got I don't have the DU for it, so this is fine. We have two of each kind of traps and fissures and then like two proton beams. Two frosties. This is the pairs of things build. Uh I want you. And I want another one in here just to sway the drops. Where's the big lanes? Let's do upgrades in those. This one's small, we'll do one hundred strap here. And two over here. Probably. Well, we'll do this and oil geyser. Alright, we good. I like to upgrade oil geysers once, they get a bit of range and it helps out. So this is the CC of all lane. This is the other one I need to be worried about. Well, they're tenacious, but they're still not perfect. Like, they're not going to completely avoid it. It's the ogres that are really the only issue with that. But yeah, this is just making me want to build, like, one more Fisher Lava Mancer. go. Let's get the uh, oil guys is going. We got someone cleansing. Awesome. You don't need to cleanse until 5, but you can cleanse all you want if it's something you want to do. Bad connection to the US servers. Yo, that's rough. There we go, so I gotta remember this. It's three of each trap, or two of each trap. Two of everything, and then a Serenity Aura, basically. Yeah, okay, I can remember that for the next time. I wanna, I kinda wanna bring this to uh, public games. 
I like... I don't like taking long to build, but I want to bring stuff that isn't PDTs to uh, public games and then seeing people freak out. You want to be somewhat useful. Yo, you're going to be useful. We're going to need Ogre DPS. So if you're worried about, like, not being useful, like, just you wait. Ogres are going to be a little rough. So where is he? He's down here. He's grounded, so he'll be mostly fine. Maybe you have better internet. It might not. I mean, you got faster internet, or maybe you're closer to the coast. That might help. You know, there's so many different factors, and being across the water doesn't help. So I feel like it's probably more underlying issues than them being, you know, on a different continent. Is just like making that worse. Uh, screw it. Let's do all the traps once. There we go. Now the rest is going to be focused on Huntress and Proton. I don't think Sand Traps and Oil Guys is good enough to really justify it past that. We'll do you. We'll do you, because you're the boss one. And I'll go over here to fight the two heavy lanes. Tenacious. Grounded. Man, I, I want Grounded to just be removed from the game. So I can do my uh, Skyguard uh, builds more often. And feel like completely justified. Yeah, for sure. If you guys want, definitely just don't touch the ogre and see how far it'll go. Because I do want to see that as well. On my, uh, I think it was Saturday evening when I did this. That's actually what I did then. I wanted to see how much they would do. But, like, actually punch some flyers just in case. They should be fine, but, eh. Never know. I'm gonna throw bones at these guys though. You can see the tenacious lane is making it a little further, I think. No, that might have to do more with just the crystal beast leading it than anything else. Alright, let's see how this goes. Four mil, four point like six mil, four point seven mil, whatever it starts off at us. There you go, stuns, freezing. Got some other enemies in there, so you get both frosty buffs. Alright, two-thirds of his HP. Not bad at all. I'll take it. And it'll be better later on as well. I think you can get him down to like a quarter of their HP as long as they're not tenacious, from what I was seeing. Honestly, that's pretty good for these uh, kind of like kill areas here. Alright, we got a skelly boss that's worrying. Tuscar, not worried at all. Spit on me. Thank you. Where are you, homie? I don't think any, um... I don't think any kobolds got through. I gave it to the other guy. <laughs> Yo, I'm coming for you. Nice. I mean, it's not really hard. Everyone could upgrade if they wanted to. I think the setup's good enough to just, if everyone focuses on protons and hunters traps, we would be fine. They're going to be our main damage sources. I like the slime defense. It's got some... Uh, it's got some AI issues, though. Like, if you place them on stairs, they just don't really work. They're basically just a trap at that point. 
So that's why I'm not using it in this setup, because it relies like on this spot right here. And putting a slime trap on here, like it's not gonna do anything. So as long as it's placed on a flat surface though, they're fine. They do some good damage, but I think you really gotta treat them as like as a trap instead of like as a homing thing. Alright. Skelly boss. I don't even wanna deal with you. So I'll stay here. Might as well. Tuscar. Tuscar is Tuscar. If this is a Kellyan though, then I'll be a little upset. Is there? I don't know if there's any way to tell from the thing. Maybe they're level. Like this is a level one skelly boss. You can see in the thirst. Like he's in the first slot. I don't know how they actually call that. He's tenacious as well. We'll see. Anyways, I, I like the slime defense a lot. It's not good for this build though. But I think it's pretty strong. It's just you really gotta work around its AI issues. Even more so, like a, even a lot more so than uh, Hornets. Plaguing Hulk, okay. We'll be fine. I don't know if Tuskar will die in the thing. He might get past. Maybe Tenacious will definitely get past. It doesn't look like he is. Madden looks like you're DPSing him too. Yo, if I do like a Mystic's Call to Madness here, and then a Cobalt like suicides onto the Protons, will it then AoE everything down here? Probably. So, the Skelly boss, he was tenacious, but Skelly bosses are so like weak to CC that even with his tenacious uh, shit going on, He's still, like, walking through it all. I think... Okay, I might be embarrassing myself. I'm pretty sure Tenacious is the one that is CC reduction. Oh yeah, for sure, zero. I should have done that, too. Once I knew it wasn't a Sakellian, that's when I should have left it. If you see a Sakellian, though, DPS it right away. Other than that, leave all the rest of the bosses. They're fine. Maybe not at Quibbly. We don't want Quibbly destroying the Frosty Towers. Is that good? There goes our AA. All right. I'm like one trap away from getting them both to tier 4. No, I'm two traps away. So once those are good, like you can just upgrade the rest of the traps, the oil guys is in the sand traps and we'll be good. I don't really like the tier 5 things typically. So once those are good, just repair the rest. Well, Dab Dab likes cheese, so he's probably from... he's probably Swiss, right? Nope. Oh. My bad. <laughs> uh, what a good joke, me. I probably just said something like stupid, insensitive, and not even realized it. Ten ten. <laughs> the only thing I would like to change on this map is on wave five getting two ogres. You only get one of the incursion, and that kinda sucks. It's great for soloing, but like it's kinda bad for loot gaining. This is a seven wave long map. You should we should get one more ogre for loot. Sorry, I was in Twitch chat. Yo, I saw that. No worries, though. Yeah, look at this. This is a solid build. We haven't even had a Cobalt get past. As far as I'm aware. Like, none of these... None of these things have taken damage, right? Damage taken, none. None, and... None. What is this thing doing over here, though? It's... 
What? Excuse me? What is he doing there? That's weird. 404, mana not found. Yeah, y'all can just upgrade whatever. Traps. I'd say geysers before uh, Mystic Traps, but it doesn't really matter. That's all I'm going to do. There's our boss, man. What do we got? We got Tenacious, 70% crowd. Yeah, okay, so this one... Ogres have, like, tenacity built into them, and then if you get a resilient one, he's just going to walk through it all. So you can leave this guy, uh, like you were saying, if you want, but he's not going to take much damage at all. Speedy and tenacious. Yeah, he's going to just zip through it. I'm tempted to actually tank him in it, too, because of that. He'll, he'll take, like... 50k and then leave and then we'll have to DPS them on our own. Actually, I might just try to lead them back in. Well, we've got... Dab. Dab, dab. Dab, dab, please. Being the fucking wall. But yeah, I, I like this setup a lot. I don't know. It's just... I mean, there's nothing really, like, groundbreaking. There's nothing fucking amazing, right? But... I like it. It's colorful. Yep, apparently Dab Dab doesn't give a fuck. But I mean, we weren't going to be able to do this shit anyway. It's like... It was just gonna walk through. So this is fine. I should be inspecting these. What is this uh, Fisher doing? Well, the Elemental Chaos is like 69k. Fisher, 23 buff. That's the Waller one though. This one goes up to 45 with both Frosties on it. That's damn good. Like, a 20k fish, though, is only going to do, like, 14k DPS or something dumb like that. Their attack rate is less than once a second. That kind of sucks. Right, I'm good. I think everything's been tier 3 in there. Alright, you can stand there. I'm gonna fight this double lane. And by that I mean I'm gonna press 3 every time something spawns. Another way of completely neglecting the theme of the build is just to press 3 and let everything explode. Frickin' using his eruption, even if it's not good damage, using the side of a Serenity or it's just gonna kill the entire lane anyways. All the goblins are gonna explode and then next thing you know everything's dead. So even if you can't like do enough damage to one shot the big enemies, it's fine. I didn't check the bosses, but I guess I got a pair of uh, Malpheus. What is this flyer doing? Oh, it's dead. There's actually 4 mil damage on the uh, Snaking Sands. How much is the oil guys are doing? Or how much is the oil guys are done? I think it's done less. Which, I mean, I still feel justified in upgrading them first, just because I want the extra AoE on them. It makes sense, actually. The, sa the sand trap's hitting both lanes, or both sides of the lane.
The Hunter's Trap's actually done less, just because it's further back, too. That's hilarious. I think it's done less. Unless there's another character, like, behind max charges. Wow, these Sand Traps, yeah, they're doing a lot more than I thought they would. That's great. Most damage is probably Protons, though, and Fissures. Proton's done 10 mil. Yeah. Fisher is... 5... Wait. Is that 58 mil? There's, there's a character behind the L, right? You guys can see that. So it's something 67614, counting backwards, of course. Yeah, that's 58 mil on that Fisher? Damn, no way. Let me check another one to be sure. Another front one. Okay, there's definitely two characters, so there's something 998535354 mil. Damn. For like a no DU 50 mana, like they really need to limit this shit. That's too good. Where's the Tenacious Ogre? Let's just send Dab Dab there. Over 200 kills. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it, too. 228. Proton's done. 55. Sand Trap is 42. Ooh, Sand Trap's really good. Though. Oh, I forgot to upgrade with all this mana. Um, screw it. I'll nuke him. Now let's let's let Dab Dab do his lane, and then let's watch the other two ogres. Yo, Tom, how's it going, bud? I do want to see I do want to see the other two ogres go down. Yeah, I am definitely I'm bringing this to public games. I don't care if it takes a little longer to build. I'm gonna do it now. This has been done twice with slightly varying setups and just been incredibly strong. I can probably even, in fact, like get rid of my uh, dummies. Like the dummies don't even seem necessary. Though I'll put them in because like we're concentrating the mana. So with the dummies, maybe without or in public games, I won't get all the mana. I won't be able to upgrade exactly how I want. So dummies will be there for catches. Oh, we need another enemy here. Something for the other Frosty Tower to focus. Ew, you snot at me? Alright, I think this ogre is like just gonna die in the stuff we're pretty close to. Yeah, 1.5 left basically. I didn't even take damage from that stomp. You can just stand inside my uh, gunk. It's almost cleansing, right? Yeah, we're good. If that's the first damage, then we're good. Alright, GG. Nice build. To my own horn a bit. Get some fireworks at the end, too. I like it a lot. I like this build a lot, a lot.